My name is Tom Ryan. I'm a 16-year-old who loves turning an idea into an actual tangible product. I actually have four patents, two for my speakers and two for my drones. I'm a bit of an audiophile, but a lot of the speakers that I was using, it's very processed. It really removes all the detail from music. You know, it's hard for existing companies to completely change their workflow. But as a person, I thought, well, why not just use this new manufacturing and create a speaker that sounds better and is cheaper as well? This is Bass Beam Mini, the enhanced edition. This is Bass Beam Mini, the regular edition. And this is the largest speaker that I have, Bass Beam Plus. They have different power outputs, so this is the most powerful one. The idea with these speakers is to use new manufacturing methods like additive manufacturing and 3D printing to create a speaker that is cheaper but sounds better than the competition. Now I also aim to benefit people's lives through the use of drones. This is the first drone I built in seventh grade and this is a general purpose drone that's able to go a kilometer high and a kilometer far. Now the next year I decided to basically improve on my design. I built a drone that was bigger, better, stronger in every way. And then this is my rescue drone and this is the drone that I got two patents for. This is the airflow distribution system and drag reduction system in these vents. So there are uh, special geometries inside that keep the drone cool passively and keep the drone at a high temperature if it's in a cold environment, basically thermal regulating the drone. So CAD software is computer-aided design. Basically, it allows me to create shapes in a 3D model. This takes the longest because I have to make sure everything is exactly how I want it. Yeah, so a failure that had a really big impact on me would probably be the failure of tab two. When I first built it, the drone just kept crashing. No reason, no software bug. Turns out it was a 20 RMB issue with the GPS antenna being mounted way too close, and this was a design flaw, to the high power receivers. And that really struck me hard, I would say, but you know, even a little issue like that can cause a big, big problem to happen. Now, supply chain is probably the most difficult thing because many factories don't want to talk to you unless you have a huge order. I have to cold email them, talk to them, and eventually I'll establish those relations uh, with those factories. Currently, I work with factories in China because that is the most advantageous thing for me to do. Fully online, it just, it goes much quicker. If the factory took a month to ship it overseas and then go through all this logistics that just 20 iterations would take 20 months, and that would be a lot longer than the small amount of time that I actually do need, uh, which is about 80 days. Uh, and this is not just one factory, this is multiple factories. So the supply chain here is great. So in the future, I would like to create the first company to challenge DJI uh, because DJI makes the best drones, right? No one's able to compete against DJI. Um, now, I also want to create multiple consumer electronic companies, um, one including commercializing flying cars. And I think it's the next logical step for revolutionizing the automobile industry.